what you talking about now, Saint? I don't know, but you're going to get some nuggets out of it, though. But first, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn that bell on. There's a new video series dropping every Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with a random jam session whenever I'm in my bag. You do not want to miss out. Also, be sure to check out my books, man. The link's in the description below right along with my vegan class if you're trying to go plant-based and stay plant-based. I'm telling you, it works. Oh, and lastly, be sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore just underscore seen underscore. The nuggets I don't put over here, I put over there so you can always always get me when you need me but you ain't really coming for all of that peace love knowledge of freedom i mean yeah man i know it's been a while man had to work had to get some shit taken care of bro but we all good now we all in the zone we all in the bag and shit um yeah man look entrepreneurship like yo entrepreneurship is fun but it's it's levels to the shit, bro. It's not. It's fun, but it's not easy. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's not difficult, and it's not also, uh, um, like impossible. But like, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put some work in. You gotta put some serious work in. And um, I think a lot of times, you know, when we consider entrepreneurship and shit, we want motherfuckers to. Um, it, the, the goal is, you know, what I'm saying, get money and shit. Like that's, you know, one of the obvious points. But um, it's deeper than that. You feel what I'm saying? It's way deeper than that. Like you have to be able to, um, to put your mind at ease and put yourself in a in a focal point of where you're understanding the uh, the full capacity of um of your work ethic. Not only your work ethic, like your skills, your gifts, your talents, what you're good at, like what things you can put into practical use to bring something into reality. You feel what I'm saying? And I've I've observed how you know what I mean when it comes to entrepreneurship, a lot of people. Um, they they want the end result. They only want the journey. Like that's the that's the point. That's the most pivotal point. Like how you not only taking the journey, but like what you what happens along that along that route. You know what I mean? Your your, your integrity is built. Your moral code, like all the shit that goes into how well you can you know stand firm in that. You dig what I'm saying? And you have to you gotta come to a point where you're. First, the first rule, I, fir I personally feel like it's a lot of first rules and shit. It's weird. But um, for me, I think the personal, the, the first rule is personal identity. Knowing who you are. You got to know who the fuck you are. Like, you know what I mean? So many people get into entrepreneurship for the money, as I said. But if you, you get into it for the money without knowing who you are. Because now, if you don't know who you are, when you're coming into this, you, know, you don't know exactly what you can give to the world. Because the whole point of you know what I mean, of the entrepreneurship is, you know, um, putting yourself in a position where um, whatever it is that you give, people want to have, you know, and what, what is easier to give than yourself? You feel what I'm saying? What is easier to give than yourself? And what you know is innately within you, like the things that come second nature to you, the things that, you know what I mean, you don't really have to think about. You have to filter, you know, that dynamic and give that, you feel what I'm saying? You have to give that to, to the world, to, to monetize, capitalize on whatever it is that you choose to do with it. You feel what I'm saying? But if you don't know who you are, then how do you know what you can give? Like what, what, what people are willing to, you know, to receive from you? You know what I mean? Some, some, sometimes we get involved and we get heavily, you know, we get heavily connected into, you know, from the entrepreneur's perspective, we get heavily connected into just doing doing shit, doing shit, like, yo, I, I want to get this person this, I want to get that, I want to do this to make money, I want to do that. Are you in that? You feel what I'm saying? That's the first question you got to ask. Are you in there yourself? You feel what I mean? And what I mean by that is, are you in there? Is your essence in it? Can, can you feel, can you flow with this? You feel what I'm saying? Or is it going to be friction? You know, if this was water and you jumped in, would you just coast? Would, would it seem like normal grounds to you? Will you be frolicking like almost about to drown? You feel what I'm saying? That's what it means to, to have you in it. You know what I mean? You have to have yourself in all that you're putting your, your, your time and energy into because that's what people are, are, that's what people are really, you know, purchasing. That's what people are really, you know, uh, being receptive to. You. You know what I mean? Your personality, your energy, your essence, your, your, your mentality, your thought process, all of that has to be incorporated into, into the bag. Yo, it has to be incorporated into the bag. So if you're not putting that, you know what I'm saying? If you're not putting that into the bag, then you're not going to be as successful as you think you can be. You feel what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying you're not going to be successful at all. That's not what I mean. But it's like the levels and the, the, 
the the positions you can reach when you are tapped into yourself and you're making your you're, you're building your entrepreneurship out of that it's just phenomenal man it's just phenomenal there's nothing that you can't do because now you're sticking into the realm that's you you know what i mean you're staying in your own pace you're staying in your own lane and you know you're doing you anybody that has to come into the lane they either gonna have to they either gonna have to fuck with you heavy or you know what i'm saying outlast you or outmatch you you feel what i'm saying but don't you don't need to see it as a competition because it's like yo it's it's enough out here in the world for everybody to eat but you know what I mean? You have to know, of course, your competition, know what realm you're getting into, but you know, stay in your lane.